Hi, I'm Sally and I run Didsbury Art Studio and in today's video we're going to get straight into preparing a portrait weave. So I'm working on a foam board loom which I've just um, decided that's quite good as a background for a weave and it's just what I've got handy around the house. So it doesn't take too long to get some string and mark off, I think I've done every centimetre and put some grooves at either end and then just put the string on and Layla, our cat, is messing around. So let's get straight into what you're going to need. These are the materials that I'm going to use um, today. So let me just go through what I've got. I've got some different types of wools, uh, which I think will be really good for the C colour. And we've got some ropes and we've got some hessian fabric. I've got some wool that you've seen before in some of the other weaves that I did. I've got some beautiful mohair wool there. I've got some felt and I've cut up some jeans. I'm determined to use these because I got those cut up for the other weaves and I never did use them so they're definitely going to be used today. I think they'll be really good for some of the coral reef. And then I've got some fabrics here that I got from a jumble sale a while ago. So that's an old pillowcase, that's an old underslip, I like that fabric. Various old t-shirts, I've got this one from the jumble sale, this is like a little kid's outfit. I like this little, little bits of fabrics, I think they'll be really good to use. Some sari fabric there, some thicker wool, more felt. These wools here I got lately from Hobbycraft. That I got, you probably remember that from, I think I showed that when I bought it from Country Baskets and I'm going to try and incorporate that in there and various felt and bright coloured walls. I think that will be really good for the shell in the picture and also I'm determined to use some of this netting, curtain netting over here so I'll have to cut these into strips. I think all of these, all of these <laughs> there's quite a lot there, will work well. I've got a netted curtain there which I got from a jumble sale and I'm just chopping it up into strips. So I didn't go crazy, I just did a few at a time and I just think that they would work really well in a weave. Um, I'm thinking the tassels at the bottom of a weave. So yeah, I'm just going to spend some time cutting up some of the fabrics. That's actually an underskirt there. Not one of mine, but from a jumble sale. That's an old top, an old t-shirt. And there we go. Okay, it's possibly not looking like very much, but I have cut up a fair whack there of the underslip, some of that nice ganza fabric, got some netting, some of the t-shirts, and all those beautiful dusky pink type colours. I told you I gravitate to them all the time, all the time. So I'm going to work on the board portrait again, and... I'm going to start from the bottom this time and work my way up. I'm going to be using a lot of fabrics down below, lots of textures, going in with some loops and knots and beading, and then the 3D effect is going to go down to 2D up at the top. So I'm going to try and incorporate many of these different materials in here. So on the actual weave that I'm going to do today, I'm probably going to incorporate a couple of different techniques from the first weave that I did three weeks ago. And then I also did this weave, so I'll probably incorporate some of the loops and the tabby weave that I've done over here and some of those elongated tassels. And I loved kind of beading and braiding in here, some of the knots and the loops. So I'm getting lots of different techniques from all three of those weaves. 
So here I've just got some hessian I've cut up and I'm just braiding it. And I'm going to start this weave from the bottom. And I just keep looking over to the left at the last image that I put up on the screen earlier, which is the kind of shell coral reef in some beautiful place, which I didn't check where it was, but it just felt nice and sunny and reminded me of summer. So, as I said, I am starting to incorporate the materials that I didn't get a chance to use last time in one of the other weaves. So these are cut up jeans, some grey jeans, some navy jeans, um, a pillowcase, and I'm just ruching those strips up. Oh, and then I'm going into tying just some bog standard knots actually. And then I'm just showing you that I have got some strips of fabrics and I'm going to do a Raya loop knot. And I'm just about to do another one there. So I've got a mixture of mohair and some string. And I'm doing another Raya loop knot. I did find that I needed to trim that down. So I don't think I showed that, but I did trim it down a little bit. And now I'm just preparing some more wools and I'm doing a sumac weave down the side. Moving on to the actual shell, so I'm starting to use some brighter colours. So I've done one of my tassels, right loop knots, and I've attached it to one of the strands. Sorry about my timer, I've got a slow cooker on um, for the next couple of minutes on high. So what I'm going to do down here, just looking at my image, is I'm just going to twist it. Um, you can see I've added some tassels, by the way. I've just extended the colours down and I've added some white up there. I felt like it was getting a little bit too dark and I know that the image is landscape and I've got portrait, but... I kind of want the majority to be a pop of colour here and quite a lot of different tones of blue. So I'm going to twist this one and then feed it down this little area here. Like this image, can you see down here? So I just want it to... Might even leave that hanging off for now, anyway. And then I'm gonna just do a tabby weave over here at the side. I'm thinking that it needs a, a bit of a stronger yellow. I'm just gonna break it up with a, a flat area too compared to the Raya loop knots going on down here. So I'm going to give it this pop of colour.
So next up, I'm going to do a little sumac weave just at the side of my shell up here. I think it will outline it really well. Thought you might like to see a little bit behind the scenes. Here we go. Behind the tripod. Oh my goodness, what a disaster. Creative mess, I like to call it. For the actual ocean, I've got these colours down here. I don't want to go too green, so let's see what we can do with these. finished. I've been adding some various different felts, doing a bit of sumac with tabby weave up here and yeah just a small corner left but there is a certain accompaniment down here who just come in from the garden or outside somewhere and um, yeah she's, she's just rolling around. What are you doing Smooch? Hey, what are you doing there? Are you? Whee! Look at that. Two minutes later, she's tied herself out and she's off to sleep. So, last little bit. I'm going for this bright turquoise colour here. I'm just going to finish that off doing now is I've just threaded up some wire with some beads and I'm just going to wrap it, if I can, around this rope here that I've managed to put on back on. kind of want the beads at the front. So I'm going to say I have finished there. I've added everything I want to. No doubt I'll be popping in and out of the room, just tweaking it and checking it. Um, but I'm happy to say that I've finished the summer season weave off. So hopefully I've filmed enough there uh, yeah, I've added some wraps with the ropes, I've added some beading, done some sumac weave, we've done some knots, some tassels, where I loop knots, and felt through that's been braided, and there we go. So I hope you liked this video. This is the fourth one of the series of four that I've done on different seasons. This is the summer season so if you haven't already subscribed and you enjoyed this video you'd like free content every week then do hit the subscribe button please don't forget to tell your friends about this channel and i shall see you in the next video bye